Good evening, Good evening Lord Sugar. Sugar. Now, this week I asked you to watch my channel and like and subscribe, but it appears that at least half of you haven't done that. So, you're fired. Hello, everyone. <laughs> and welcome back to the channel. I'm watching The Apprentice's Worst Decisions Ever. And I feel like I've just added to that list. So let's bloody go, hey? If we're talking Lord Sugar's Worst Decisions Ever, most of them occurred on Twitter um, towards ethnic minorities. But you know, we won't talk about that. This is not a game. This is a job interview from hell. Anybody know that? I need to get that up. That was, screw this shit. Last up, a novel about the First World War. The nominations and the end of this concerto. What's your favourite children's book of the last ten years? They were the nominations, yeah, you heard them here. Well, that kind of goes off. Just like some ham that's been opened for too long. Where, where was I? There we go. What's this is not your favourite children's? Has anyone seen that? If you just type <laughs> From his most ambitious business talent, as each year they Casey come Hopkins, face to face before with everyone hated her, just before. Sir Alan Sugar, wow. one of you is going to get a job working for me. Over twice. Samir, was that a name? Samira, 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 <laughs> Samira, 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 Sam. Syra Khan. I was about to say Samira Khan. Syra Khan. Right, The Apprentice. Let's go. Morning. The tasks themselves are quite basic business principles, so that side of it's easy. The difficulty lies in the time constraint. Where they, I don't understand where they get these people from, because they're clearly not actual businessmen, otherwise they wouldn't need to be on this show. Perhaps this is all for TV. Even though you're in a team, you are on your own. Really on your own. The team yeah, that comes in agree. with the most commission is going to win. The team that doesn't... One of you will get fired. Right, are we going to get to the worst decisions yet, or what's Winning happening? Winning any apprentice task is leadership. Something discovered too late when the power of becoming He's project... He's not got bloody Moe cufflinks on, has he? Jeez, it's like being back in Exeter. I went to Exeter for uni, by the way. And believe it or not, I wasn't the poshest person there. Went to the head of twice bankrupt Rory Lang. What a banker. Your boss. Designing a new product for the multi-million pound British dog market turned team leader Rory into the manager from hell. We have had, and I don't use this term lightly, the manager from hell. Look, I'm just trying to add bits so that YouTube doesn't strike this as being just a direct upload of Apprentice. Right? I just want to sit here and watch The Apprentice, but I'd have to talk to you guys. Rory, oh. Rory had an appalling manager Margaret, style. Margaret, big what ups. absolute cock as a leader. This thing, guys, is something I go fucking crazy for, right? Oh, I oh my god, what the f- What did he even just say? This thing, guys, is something I go fucking crazy for. <laughs> He definitely didn't know what he was going to say, but just had to try and play it off. Discipline, guys, is... I've got an erection for discipline right now. You better discipline my erection, guys. That's that's what this team is. That's why I've brought you all here today. Team... Team Nevada or something. They always come up with some weird name, don't they, for their team. Oh, actually, we're going to be Team Sterling. Why is that? We want to earn some money. If you are over-talking and saying just this, can I just that, and that's it. I will send you out. <laughs> Thing is, they're all on the same level. They've just been nominated for that task. It's like being in this, like, putting this a school group to work and one of your mates just being like, look guys, I'm not here to fuck around, all right? Why did Curly's wife act the way she did? Yeah? If we're not, go if we're not gonna come to, the, come to a conclusion here, you can go. I see you giggling, George. Fuck off. Please, please try and stop swearing, okay? It's just horrible to listen to. Rory tried to take a strong, firm grip with the team and shake it out and say, look, we did it my way or, or no way at all. I don't really know where the autocratic quite kind of behaviour came from. Um, I think it was just the characters that were in the group. Oh, no, I reckon it's just because you're a wanker. Look, let's call a spade a spade here, mate, yeah? And you're a shovel. And if you're going to do um, brainstorming yeah. and all that kind of stuff, you take your jackets off, please. Okay. What? Take your jackets off. You want to take our jackets off? Jackets off. Right, please. He's also stuck a jacket off, nearly told him to fuck off. That is so weird. Look, if you're going to start brainstorming, take your trousers off. Take them off. Good. 
Right, now I've got something prodding me right in the... <laughs> Thinking in... Really? School prefect? Why have they got him on? Art critic? Who gives a shit? What, what does he know about The Apprentice? Who Shut up, mate. That I mean? Don't care. And if you can do oh, it oh. without getting into trouble, can you take off your ties as well? What's that? People need to earn their right to be the boss. <laughs> I just said it was a joke. He's actually just getting them to undress. And if we can do it without being too naughty, can we take our ties off? Who's wearing some lacy lingerie today? Is anyone coming there, budgie smugglers? I know I have. People should know who the boss is by the way they conduct themselves and the manner in which they do things, not by the fact that they're the only one wearing a jacket. Take it down. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, next one, next one. Next one. Moving on. Shh, shh, shh. Next one. I would hate it so much. Honestly, oh, this is why I'm happy being a creative. Because if I had to sit in, sit in office clothes all day with you lot, no, if I, oh, just dealing with wankers like that. <laughs> <laughs> Determined to stamp his control on the team, Rory forced- Rory took his trousers off. <laughs> hey, I've got no clothes on. Now who's the boss? Why am I getting cuffed? What, where, what's going on? Through that was the police, not his teammates getting too aroused. His own idea, a utility belt for dog walkers. Nice. He called it- Batman. The pooch pouch. Come on, if you call it- You've got a utility belt, you've got to be thinking superhero names. You've got Batman, Bruce Wayne, Br that's got- there's got to be someone in there. Bruce Wayne- Woof Wayne? No, that's right. Batman. Um, Bat- Bat- But Bully- bu Bulldog- Dog- 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 Belt- Dog- Cargo. <laughs> Do you know what? Pooch pouch is good. Shouldn't be called the poo pouch, shouldn't it? What an absolute load of crap. Nice. <laughs> nice work off brand Taylor Lautner. That was sick. Nice burn. Pooch pouch, more like poo pouch. Put your jacket on. Sorry. I, I don't know why I said that. You know, when you take a dog for a walk, you take a dog for a walk, you put the lead in your pocket, you put your plastic bag for poopy scooping in your pocket. You don't need a special dog walker's belt, otherwise it would have invented a hundred years ago. I didn't. Uh, I highly doubt it. They probably all had their jackets on, speaking about nonsense. Take your jacket off, and then suddenly you can you can see a whole space reserved across your chest to just store shit. He's onto something here. Bad, until it was on. Is that kind of pollen? Maybe. 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 The Rambo belt or whatever the hell it was. you reckon I could pull in this? <laughs> yes, a Labrador. Cold was just awful. Well, it looked like something a gorilla would wear. Margaret? Sure that. Um, in the current climate, it's good to look like a terrorist when you're walking a dog. Right, nobody was... Was anybody thinking that? I certainly wasn't. Weird thing to bring up, actually. Oh, no, I get it now. <laughs> I, I totally get where you're coming from. <laughs> no, yeah, maybe, maybe not. When his pooch pouch got to the boardroom, originality was all Rory could claim. It, it does fulfil the task of being innovative. But it's got some originality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to find an original nutter to want to go and wear it, first of all. Hey, he's not wrong, though. It is original. And that cardboard cutout, cutout, that cardboard cutout, cardboard cutout pulls it out, pulls it out. Fucking hell. Oh, I can't think straight whenever I get pulling off in the mind. I can think straight. The the act is uh, that is happening will be straight as opposed to homosexual. But boy, can they pull it off. So Ryan, I have had roadworks next to me for the whole of this project. It was apparent on Weird that nickname. task that... Uh, there was a big personality clash between Rory and Trey. So you... Look, personally, I kind of liked the jacket. I've told you, take the jacket off! Go outside and leave them a nice message. We don't leave swearing... Oh, Christ, the size of that pencil. What size is that? A... Hey, it's not a HB, it's H-U-G-E. <laughs> <coughs> no one? It was quite good, personally, but... We just let them come back when they're ready. Can I leave them a message? No, you can't. Rory lost my respect very early on with the way he spoke to people, with the way he managed. IT consultant Trey Azam wouldn't take orders out. from any... Pub golf without me, guys? What the hell? First year creating pooch poochy poop bags without me, and they'll... Now, oh, I can't get away with this. When Trey sniffs a weakness, he'll go after <clears> you, and he'll take you down. If you fucking do as you're fucking told, don't talk what to me. I'm saying is... No one is! You're a moron. Someone found out Apprentice was coming out after Watershed. <laughs> I can swear in it. Brilliant. Fucking, fucking, fuck. I've never even met someone like Trey. Someone who was so finely tuned to, to wind me up. Mate, you're killing me. Please. Yep. None of this 
back chat and the rest of it yep. everyone else, right? Enough. Oh, he pissed me. I, oh, my God. How, uh, I'm with Trey on this one. He's just patronising his shit, this guy. Eh? You're fired. Will, Wilfred. Hmm. What we got? Montgomery? Hmm. You're fired, Burgess. What about 50% of your team not being here? What about their back chat? You don't nice. want to tell them, but you're going to tell me all here. Yes, the only like, reason kiss? you're What's going on here? here? Is because your back chat is getting so bad. Is he a parent's evening or on the apprentice? That scene with Rory, when Rory says, I am your boss. Oh, this bloke. Never saw him actually on a program that he was meant to be on. Just reviewing shit. Like, TV's ultimate bloopers. He'd just be there like, ah, ha, ha. One minute we're watching Pop Idol. Next minute, it's bollocks how. You know, he's always on these types of shows, just reviewing them. Get a job. As opposed to just reacting to other people's content. Quality scene, one of my favourite scenes ever in The Apprentice. I, do not, I really, I just like you to do as you're told. This oh. bizarre moment Wrong where he sort of mounted his podium and like a Shakespearean hero in the mode of Julius Caesar announcing, I am your boss. If you're going to talk to me, talk to me Please on the level. Please, can no, no, you no. go over talk there? Talk to me as a colleague. Don't talk to me like I'm a child. Don't talk to me like you're my boss. We're all working in this together for an ultimate I am end. your boss. No, you're not my I boss. I am project manager. your boss. <laughs> <laughs> you telling Burgess? What the hell is going on? No, you're incorrect. I wanted to be project manager. Project manager? What is it? Is it project manager for this one? I don't get it, but you're not his boss. The Apprentice is good fun though, right? Hey, eh? We need more of this in our lives. Just twats being twats. I am your boss. Boss. Not my I boss, am project manager. your boss. The louder he asserted it, and the more rhetorically he said, I am your boss, the more the viewing public sat on sofas all over the United Kingdom and shouted back, Oh no, you're not! Could not agree more. It's literally what I just said, if you listened. Yeah? So let's not just, let's not pretend that you came up with it, right? You're nothing to me <laughs> right. at this moment. Please, no, please go please, please. over there. A friend at home wants a t-shirt for me. It says, I am your boss on the front. And it says at the back, you're nothing to me. So, uh, but hey, but he was needed at the time and it flowed. You can tell that that's really gotten to him. Also, that's a complete lie. He said, my friend got me. No, you... <laughs> You've got no friends, Burgess. Yeah, his name's not even Burgess. What is his name? He is going to make mincemeat out of you, Sunshine, if you do not start speaking up for yourself, <clears throat> okay? One thing he can do is bunny, and you look like you got your tongue stuck in the top of your mouth. Trey, you can see him just twitching. I'm gonna let him have it any minute now. I'm, I'm boiling. Go I'm on, boiling. Trey. I'm, boiling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him have it. I'm gonna let him have it. He's Trey. I was gonna, I was gonna say he's Trey agitated right now. Trey agitated uh, would be the joke there. But then I was gonna go. He's trembling. He. <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna go for neither. Make mincemeat out of him. Go on. Bam. You're incompetent to work with somebody like me. Lloyd. You're up there in terms of what you've achieved. He's not. As a specialist in my area, I tried to advise as best as I could. He wasn't willing to listen when I asked. It You're was listening to all this. You're you yes. Trey came with bars. What's his name? Trey Azam. More like Alakazam with magic. <laughs> You're on pause. Okay, now play. Off you go. He is continually butting in, son. He's not a team player. He said it took up 80% of his time. Uh, you're on pause Sorry. at the moment. If you can find a weakness in somebody else and you can expose that weakness, then it's, it's, it's an advantage. Now we're into exposing each other. The trousers will finally come off. Woohoo! Of trying to sort yourself out here. And you haven't. Go on. You're fine. Finger him. Ooh. I think he was controlling in the worst way. And I think he's horrible. Shut up. The most powerful finger in all all of the land. Do you know what? I thoroughly enjoyed that. Put a glass in my hand. Another barkeep. Keep him coming. Hi there. See you. Nice to meet you, Simon. <laughs> Cold like it, Claude. This is my 10th year of doing this. And I've got to say that when I read your <laughs> application form... I would be have the exact same look on my face. He's absolutely terrified, this yeah. little look. <laughs> Just a fully grown man shitting himself. I say that when I read your application form, and then when I read your CV, it filled me with pleasure. That's unbelievable news. Most savage moment from Claude. I doubt it. That is a raving review. This cannot go worse at all. This, this is set up to succeed. I think it's incredibly enterprising that whilst you were studying, you also started this business, which to all intents and purposes, Come looks on, like soul. it's taken off. 
Yes, come on, Solomon. I've never put so many ticks next to anybody. Woo! Hell yeah. Apart from the dog that I was de-ticking. <laughs> Just a little veterinary joke, guys, to keep it fresh. Carry on. Sugar. Come on, Solomon. And frankly, it's a bloody disgrace. <laughs> It's a bloody disgrace. For 10 years I've done this, I've never seen something that's put together two bloody pages. <laughs> Look at his face. I've had him for breakfast there. A good old Solomon Akhtar on toast. That <laughs> is just like, oh shit, I have celebrated far too early here. <laughs> bloody pages with pictures on one page. What do you think you're coming here for? What do you think you're coming here for? You can leave. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> In a bit, Sal. Claude, you clever little man. He's done the old Gordon Ramsay on him there. I'm not making another breakfast joke. Giving him the whole, setting him up. You know, tossing him in the air and then fucking acing him. I've never experienced a meal like this before. You surprised me. Thank you, I give it 110 every time. You surprised me with how shit you are. That's always fun, isn't it? What a, anyone remember that meme? I say There's nothing to argue. You give me pictures of, of sailboats. You give me pictures of sailboats. What am I going to work on? Pictures of sailboats. What is that? What is that? That's a legged, yeah, legged. You're taking a piss. Please leave. <laughs> but, uh, it's, it's logos. You've got the job. I've been looking for a graphic designer. That's not the way out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's so good. Hey, and just because I enjoyed Claude so the much, we're going to watch them more. Interviewer. More for Claude Lord Claude. Midna. Frankly, your business plan is ridiculous. It's just farcical. It's a bloody disgrace. What earth are you talking about? Crass, obnoxious, infantile. You're not a big fish. Tell you're not he a big he fish. makes some bold you're statements. A you're a parasite. Oh, you're a dreaming. You're an arrogant fool. Go on, Claudie boy. I'm asked. What do you do for James, what the hell is that? Say? James McQuillian. Just get him out for that reason. Your Nightmare is, for admin. Nutshell, I put a leash on people who money up the wall. Now, do you really think that Sir Alan is a serious businessman? An entrepreneur is going to want to hear that kind of language to a serious question. Lord, I need to make myself... What was his answer again? I was too busy being an idiot. Your answer is, in a nutshell, I put a leash on people who... Money up the wall. Now, James, do you really think Sir Alan is going to want to do business with somebody who answers a serious question like that with that sort of answer? Do you really think that Sir Alan, who's a serious businessman, an entrepreneur, is going to want to hear that kind of language to a serious question? Claude, man, come on, you can't just steal my flow. Myself stand out from all those other thousands of But not by being a prat. I, I, I could overlook it, perhaps, if that was an isolated incident. Um, however, um, you then go on with your, with your crassness. Why should you be Sir Alan's next apprentice? Right, he's been crass in the last... How, how's he gonna end this one? What's McQuillian's next McSpillian? Because he's pissing it up. Good one, George. What, was, what even was the question? I need to grow up. With your crassness. Why should you be Sir Alan's next apprentice? Because I know all of the best strip joints in town and that daddy needs a sugar. I can bring... He he's, is Alan sugar needs a sugar, baby. I don't know. Ignorance to the table. I can. Uh, it's, a good, it's a good style of ignorance. I'll get daft. Bring ignorance to the- James, come on, man. What do you think you're doing here? Do you reckon he just signed up as a bet and then has now got this far? He's like, oh, shit, I probably should just try and give it a go. You bring ignorance to the table. There's got to be better candidates out there than this. My previous query, I feel like, has been confirmed here and that this is all for TV. Curse the producers. There's an ignorance about it. No, the it's mistake you're making, James, James, is you're trying to defend what's frankly indefensible. Frankly, Francis, what was that, Francis Bish? Defend what's frankly indefensible. No. Oh, Francis Bishop. Damn, I, it would have been funny if I could then say, what is this? 19, are, are we, are we? I don't know history well enough. <laughs> Guys, wh wh what, who is this? Are they colonies in Asia and Africa between the years of 1814, 1815, or 1815 to 1848? Because, <laughs> She's France's bitch. Frankly, I'm finding it quite hard to find anything good about your performance. What, well, you know, got any answer for that? Um, I... Not the first time I've heard that in my bedroom. <laughs> Am I right, babe? Babe? Oh, she's gone. I think if you break the tasks down... Yeah, well, I broke the tasks down and you lost eight out of ten. You know, nice. eight out of the ten tasks was horrific. It um, was horrific. It was. Um, yeah. um... I, I don't know what you're doing here. Oh. I've had a look at your website. 
and it's certainly a very interesting website. It looks like you've got a very lovely restaurant. I haven't been there. I'd have liked to have gone there. You can always come there. Right, okay. Maybe after this interview you'll think differently. <laughs> um, however... <laughs> yeah, smile it away, Yasmin. You know you're hurting inside. I don't know how honest a person you actually are, because... The and that's probably the food poison for the restaurant as well, the hurting inside. We'll carry on. Maybe you don't need to make a joke all the time. We made four and a half percent of our turnover. So. Uh, what I don't know what that means. Mean exactly. Four and a half percent of your turnover? Four and a half percent of our turnover. We, it was, was profit. Bottom profit. line profit at the end of the bottom day. Bottom line profit? Yes. Pro profit. Bottom line. Pre-tax pre profit. Yeah. Four and well, you say you've written here four and a half percent gross profit. Gross I don't profit know what's happening. Profit. I always got this when watching Dragon's Den. I'll be enjoying it, then doing the little pitch, being like, I've got a holder here that can hold your banana. I'm listening. And then they go, and I'm looking for 13% investment for 20% of the company with 1% gross profit, 2% mildly disgusting profit. And Some profit that you'll happily look at. Interested dragons? And my dad's there like, good, I've not got a clue. Yeah, of course I know the difference. We made four and a half percent net profit, so. Oh, so it's not gross net profit. Net profit? No, it wasn't, but that was an estimate because I hadn't so actually on, got on the first year. Well, yeah, but gross profit is entirely different from net profit. On the no, you're talking Everyone knows this, Yasmin. Gross is completely different to net. Have you ever tried fishing with a gross? Point proven. Mike drop, you're welcome, Claude. So, first of all, wow. you don't have uh, four and a half percent gross profit. Ah. And also, you talk about turnover of £8,000 per week. Do you know what turnover is? Yeah, the amount of money that we make. The amount of money we turn... She's doing what I used to do for six mark questions and exams that I didn't know the answer to, and just sort of write all of the answers together as one and see if I get any of them. There's a mark in there somewhere, right? Go on. Friend that's marking my exam next to me. Come, you know what I meant by that. You know what I meant. Give me a mark for that. Come on. Over. Was it... The amount of money that we take... Obviously, I love that as an answer. What's turnover? Well, glad you asked, Claude. It's the amount of money that we turn over. <laughs> Sales, yeah. perhaps? Sales. Sales, yes. Right. Your accounts don't show, don't show 400,000 turnover. 370. Well, I'm not playing a guessing game. If you, don't, you, if you don't know your turnover, that's a pretty sad indictment, isn't it? Do you still fancy a three-course meal, Claude? Claude? Claude, do you fancy it? On me. Hey, literally, if it helped me get the business. <laughs> Try some of the hummus out of my belly button, Claude. I don't know what's happening. We'll get to the end of this one, and then this video's done. I've been filming far too long for whatever the hell this is, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. That's me. The tampers. <laughs> Works every time. I don't know why you'd go in to try and shake his hand because it's never gonna work. I'm Stuart Bags, the brand. Yeah. Nice. What earth are you talking about? <laughs> well, You're not a brand. I think when you look at what a brand means, it is. Something... No, no, don't tell me what a brand means. <laughs> Stuart Bags, the brand. That's his wrestler name. You're not a brand. I think I might be. <laughs> Fine. Let's explore this a bit further then. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Am I not a brand though, Claude? I think it might be. You're not. Uh, Could be though, couldn't I? <laughs> if I really tried. Why would somebody as successful, as innovative, as yeah. big dreamer, as a brand, as you, why would you want to have a job with Lord Sugar? Because at the minute, I'm a big fish in a small pond. You're Lord not Sugar. a big fish. You're not a big fish. <laughs> You're not even a fish. <laughs> That's such a good line. That's so funny that a line like that could hit. Hey, you're not even a fish, man. Fuck's sake, Claude. What's the matter, Poppet? Claude said I'm not a fish. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure you sure you get all the gills. Gotta ruin it, haven't you? Hello, I'm Jordan. Ah, somebody's kindly filmed this on their fucking typewriter. What the hell is this? It transpires that actually this isn't your business. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What does mm -hmm mean? I, there's three parts to the answer, I think, because there were... Hang on a second. <laughs> Hang on a second. You are not a shareholder in this business. Correct. Correct. Therefore, you've got no right to negotiate or to... Tell him to leave. Tell him to leave. Just tell him to leave, Claude. This will be brilliant if you do this. I'll love you forever, Claude Littner. You're only prepared to yield 15.39% equity. Oh, the Dragon's Den thing again. I don't understand what this means. Explain in football terms. The deal is 50% for £250,000. Mm -hmm. You've got no what? right to be here. You're a parasite. Can I defend myself before I leave? Frankly, I think this interview is terminated. Nice. You could leave now. Yes, Claude. Stupid idiot. Got him. Nice. And that is all she wrote. Genties and Ladleman. What a roller coaster this was, eh? I want to watch more. <laughs> Uh, so if you want to watch me watch more, subscribe, like, and ring that bell so I get a little ringy ding every time... what? <laughs>
so you're notified every time I upload. Also, comment down below what else you want me to react to. Perhaps Dragon's Den. That'd be a fun one. Not that I'd understand it, but it's funny to see people try to make a business and fail. So until then, I'll see ya. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Oh, what the hell am I doing with my life?